Scorpio, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for November the 26th to December the 2nd. And if you like this reading, as I always ask you, um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you'd like. And um, or don't if you don't want to. I don't mind whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start your reading right now for Scorpio. So the first card you have for your past is the Sun. So this is a beautiful card, absolutely beautiful card. Um, this is about freedom, that's what I'm seeing in this card. And I think at this time you might have been saying to yourself, you know, I don't care what people think of me anymore. I used to think about what they thought of me or worry about what they thought of me, but now I don't. And um, I'm just going to do what I think is right for me, which is fantastic. And I think, you know, this could have been a this could have been a time when you just um, you just wanted to be yourself and not just yourself you didn't just want to be yourself you wanted to be your best self and so you had to kind of get rid of a whole lot of junk that was in your head that people had kind of put into your head to be your best self you had to get this out of your head so for a long time um, you could have had some old voices in your head maybe these came from family members when you were growing up or something like that i am seeing people kind of telling you what you should and shouldn't think maybe what you should and shouldn't feel even um and you know it's which is really um happens to a lot of people actually um and i'm seeing maybe you had a parent telling you something when you were when you were a child and um they were kind of telling you something as fact. They were telling you a few things, actually. And I think, you know, as a child, you listened to this and you maybe you didn't agree with what they said. You just thought to yourself, I don't think you said anything to them, but I think you thought, you know, I don't really agree with that. I don't really agree. But, you know, then you thought, well, maybe when I'm older, I might understand this or I might agree with this when I'm older. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm young, I just don't understand. But now as an adult, you still don't agree. You still don't believe or agree whatever this was. And I think, you know, this is about you kind of distancing your thoughts, distancing your own um, sense of self from what used to be that's what i'm seeing here and this is what's given you this freedom um i'm not seeing you distancing yourself or disconnecting yourself from um any of these family members physically you might want to do that but that's not what i'm seeing here um you might be distancing yourself maybe mentally um and this was like an acceptance that you're just two different people or you're just separate from your family. You have different ideas, you have different mindset, you have different thoughts about things, you have a different heart, you're just different. And um, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. So, um, you know, I think you were still around for these people, but you weren't an extension of them. And I think they always felt that you were an extension of them. And this is kind of a realization that you actually are not. And I think you knew that already, but I think you're kind of really very powerfully seeing that at this time. And I think uh, this is what um, made you feel this freedom. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that all makes sense. I hope that's not too kind of crazy sounding. Um, the next card you have for your past is the lovers. So yeah, this card is perfectly balanced. It's kind of the male and the female and the beautiful um, angel in the middle and everything's balanced, the wings and the sun, everything's perfectly balanced. So um, this is what I'm seeing in this card, balance. Or I think at this time you might have been working toward getting some kind of balance. Um, this could have actually been quite a healing time for you because you were definitely healing from these old family thought patterns, these old beliefs that you used to have. But I think, you know, once you had a taste of this um, feeling of freedom that this kind of um, separation was giving you, I think maybe you decided that you'd apply this to other areas of your life so that you can have this kind of full freedom. Um, so I'm seeing actually, you know, this is the lover, so I am seeing a love connection in this card. This might not have been a formal relationship. It might have been, um, but I'm seeing a little bit of... Um, I'm not sure if it is or it isn't because there is some distance or some separation or something like that in there. So maybe this is an ex or maybe this is someone who you're kind of on and off again with or something or you were at this time. Um, 
I think this person could have been trying to come closer to you. Maybe you'd broken up and they were trying to come back or maybe kind of you weren't sure what was going on. But um, I think I am seeing you might have had a barrier up um, between you and them at this time for some reason. Because, you know, if you look at the man on this card, he's looking over at this woman and he's kind of thinking, wow, she's so beautiful. That's what I imagine he's thinking, because she is beautiful. But she's not looking at him, she's looking up to the angel. And so you weren't looking at this person, you were kind of distancing yourself a bit from them, creating some kind of a barrier between you and them. You weren't sure about them, you didn't know whether this was what you wanted, that's what I'm seeing. That was what, it was what they wanted, they were looking at you but you weren't looking at them. You're kind of looking elsewhere, thinking about whether this was what you wanted. Mm. And um, yeah, the lover's card can also be about decisions. So maybe you were thinking something like, um, yeah, if I want this person, if I accept this person, if I want this person around me, some things are going to have to change. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like you wanted to change them. Um, this was about the way that they might have treated you in the past, I'm seeing, because I'm actually seeing, yeah, there might have been more than one thing that you are, um, you are unhappy about with this person. Um, and it was quite serious, it was quite a serious thing, it wasn't like a little silly thing. So I think, you know, to keep this kind of free, positive kind of feeling around you that you're feeling, you had to kind of decide whether um, this person would be capable of changing um, or whether they kind of wouldn't be capable of changing. Um, this isn't to say that you were perfect or that you thought you were perfect. No one's perfect. There's always give and take in love, of course. But yes, um, they had done something quite serious or acted toward you in a way that um, was actually quite serious to you and you wanted some change in them. That's what I'm seeing. Um, but yeah, you had some big decisions to make, that's what The Lovers is about, because um, this is also about the Garden of Eden and Eve made a choice, a decision, so this is about decisions as well, so that's what you had to do, make a decision about this person. So the last card you have for your past is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, this is with this love connection, um, you know, it's like you were thinking, um, you know, this man's growing this bush or this money plant. I wish I had a money plant, but he's growing it, he's looking at it, and he's thinking, is this growing? What's happening with this? He's kind of looking back on it. So this is like you were thinking, you know, if I want this to grow, if I decide that this is what I truly want, if I want this person, I'm willing to put the work in, but are they willing to put the work in? That's why, what, that's what you might have been asking yourself. Um, are they willing to put the work in? I am, are they? That's what I'm seeing there. I think, you know, this person knew that they wanted to be with you. Um, I could see that in the lover's card. But, you know, it's one thing to know, uh, and it's another thing to say, and it's another even more important thing to do. And I think that's what you wanted. You wanted them to show you that they wanted to be with you. Not just think, not just say, but show. You wanted to see it, you wanted them to prove it to you. That's what I'm seeing now. So the first card you have for your present is the Ace of Cups. Beautiful card, very emotional card. So again, um, I'm seeing healing in this card and I'm seeing that a bit in the Lover's card. Um, and you know, you're still healing from some of these negative things that you went through in your past. That were in your head. Now this isn't an easy process of course, this is kind of quite a difficult process. It's, um, you know, if you, when you start letting things like that go, it's quite freeing in the beginning, but it can also feel a, bit, a little bit strange sometimes, you know, when we, all, when, when we let old patterns go, um, that might have been on our mind for a long, long time, maybe even years, it can feel sometimes as if we've left something behind and we're somewhere very foreign, very different, almost as if we're in a foreign country, feeling a little bit lost, you know, maybe having to learn a new language or something like that. But, you know, if you do have to learn a new language, um, this is going to be a much more authentic language that you do learn. Um, this is the language of 
you. It's not someone else's language. It's not your parents' language. It's not your family's language. This is your language. This is unique to you. So um, it's an authentic language. So yeah, this is going to be a struggle, but it's definitely going to be really, really well worth it to get through this process. And you know, there's a beautiful dove on this card. Obviously, um, this dove represents peace. But it needs to go through this cup. It needs to go through this cup first. It needs to go through the emotions. It needs to go through some tears. It needs to go through a lot of pain sometimes. And these tears, this emotion, and all of this water coming down is going to help you to grow into a much stronger person. And it's going to help you to bloom as well, because I'm looking at these beautiful water lilies at the bottom of all of this. And that's what's going to grow. And so it needs all of that difficulty, all of that struggle, everything to grow. And that's what you need to grow. You need to go through this process, even though it's hard, so that you can grow. That's what I'm seeing in the Ace of Cups. So the next card you have for your present is the Three of Wands. So yeah, obviously this is the waiting card. This is about waiting. So you might be waiting for this person in the Lovers card. You might be waiting for them to step up and maybe show you that they're actually serious. Uh, I think you might have actually had a conversation with this person about this. You might have told them that you want to see something, you want to see a certain thing coming from them. I'm not actually seeing a conversation, but I know that you know, you're a straightforward person, so you know, you're not the kind of person who would just keep people guessing and kind of sit around saying, oh, I wonder if they'll step up, but I won't tell them, I won't make that clear. You know, you don't play games with people, you don't do that. So. I think you probably have told them. I mean, you can be a bit mysterious sometimes. Come on, you can. But um, you do say what you think. You don't keep people guessing on things that are important. So that's what I'm seeing. So um, you might have had, you know, you might have some kind of um, time limit attached to this. You might only wait for a certain amount of time. And then if they don't, if they haven't stepped up by that time, then that's it. You've, you've made your decision. Um, I'm not seeing you being cruel to this person. I'm not seeing you putting any ultimatums on them or anything like that. But, um, you know, you're not going to wait around forever. You're not going to wait around forever. I mean, that's you're just not going to do that. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have for your present is the Two of Pentacles. So, um, yes, again, you're not going to wait forever into infinity. Here's this infinity symbol on this card. Uh, at some point, things are going to go one way or another way. And, you know, I keep on seeing you having your own deadline around this. It's like, you'll know when the time's up. You'll know when the time is ready for you to actually move one way or another way. And again, I'm seeing that you probably explained all of this to them or something like this, something about this to them. Uh, again, I'm not seeing an actual conversation. But I am sensing this because of the kind of person that you are. You're quite, you're a straightforward person. I'm seeing that again. I'm also seeing around this card. Um, okay, now this might sound a bit strange, um, and I don't want to worry you either. Please don't worry about this. But maybe um, check your tires or the wheels on your car or something like that. I'm not seeing any accidents. I'm not seeing any terrible things happening. Um, so again, please don't worry about this, but um, just check them and um, also check what's around your tires. Um, check for anything that might cause a flat tire or something like that. Now again, I'm not seeing any terrible accidents, but just check because I am just seeing something um, kind of, um, kind of, I'm keen seeing a kind of preventing a swerving, stopping a swerving, because I'm looking at these kind of wheels going up and down, and I just, just check that. Again, please, I really hate making people afraid. I don't want to make you afraid, but just check that, please. The first card you have for your future is uh, the Page of Wands. So, yeah, um, this page is, pages are usually teenagers, and um, they're learning things. And this page is looking up to the top of this wand and he's thinking, oh, I have a lot to learn. I'm looking up. I'm looking up to where I want to grow, where I want to go. And um, I'm seeing that, you know, 
your confidence is going to be growing. So as you um, go through this process, um, your emotions are still going to be a little bit up and down, of course. That's what I'm seeing again in the Two of Pentacles as well and this as well. Um, but you know, each time you kind of jump over one of these hurdles, um, and you're going to have a few hurdles to jump over, um, you're going to grow out of these emotions, just as I was seeing what was happening in the Ace of Cups. You're going to kind of go through these kind of ups and downs emotionally, and then you'll grow out of that. I'm also seeing belonging in this card, belonging. Um, you're coming out of a time where you felt that you didn't quite belong, this might have been um, around these family members or it might have been around some other people who you really weren't feeling that connected to. Um, there wasn't a lot of understanding coming from any direction with this group of people. So it's like whoever this is, you weren't really quite understanding them. They weren't really quite understanding you. That's what I'm seeing because the page looks a bit of a misfit actually. His, He's kind of dressed for winter, or this this page, the page of wands is, um, and he's wearing a heavy scarf or a blanket around his shoulders, and he's wearing boots. So um, he's in the desert though, which is hot. So he's not dressed for the occasion. Um, he looks a bit out of place. So um, you know, you were feeling out of place, but you are going to be growing out of this. You're going to be growing out of this feeling. I'm not seeing you cutting people off, but um, you're just going to be spending more time with people who you truly connect with. You might even be meeting some new people at this time um, because I'm seeing, um, yeah, I'm seeing the universe putting some new people in your life at this time because um, this is going to be a time when you're going to be ready for them. You're going to be ready for a lot of new things at this time, actually. Um, you're going to be learning some new things as well. Um, and you know this is really really positive actually this is kind of a beautiful positive growth that you're going to be going through at this time after this ace of cups here comes this growth that's what I'm seeing the next card you have for your future is the nine of pentacles so yeah this is another really beautiful card I love this card um, the woman in this card if you look at her she's just so content She's so happy. She has everything she needs, but she doesn't have any people around her. She's by herself. Um, and yeah, she's happy to be alone. She's happy to be by herself. And you might realize that this person in the lover's card just isn't going to step up. Or it might be that you just come to realize that it's just not worth it. You'd rather be by yourself. And um, you know, you're going to be a lot stronger in yourself. I'm seeing that definitely because you would have been through a lot of this process by this time. And um, yeah, you'll probably just be happy by yourself for a while, not forever, but um, just for now, I think. Um, and you know, this woman's also holding a falcon in her hand. Now, falcons are hunters, but this hunter, this bird, isn't flying away. It's not going to hunt for anything at this time. It's not interested in hunting. It looks very happy. It's around this woman and it's just very content. It's sitting there looking at her very happy. So, you know, you're not going to be interested in hunting. You're not going to be interested in looking for love at this time. Um, you're just happy to be by yourself. So, um, yeah, this is really good actually. You, you're going to know yourself at this time. You're going to be more confident at this time and you're just going to be getting back to your full strength, getting back to yourself properly at this time. Um, and you know, you will meet someone at some time, but it's going to be at the right time for you, and this isn't the right time. You're happy by yourself at this time, that's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have for your future is the Five of Pentacles. So yes, um, I'm sorry to say this, but this um, is probably how this person is going to be feeling for a while because I think, you know, you you weren't ready to accept them or something or you either decided that they weren't going to step up or that you just thought it wasn't worth it, you just didn't want to be with them anymore, you weren't interested anymore. It's, you know, one or the other thing I'm seeing and they're going to be feeling quite left out, quite down for a while. So, yeah. This is what's going to happen if this all resonates and you've decided to stay on your own and not to be with that person. Um, and, you know, again, you're not a cruel person. I'm sure, you know, when you tell them this, um, you're kind, you know, you're going to be kind, you're going to be fair with them. 
and um, but this is what you're doing and of course you know even if you are fair or kind um, it's not easy heartbreaks never easy it's never easy being told no even if it's in a kind way it never is um, yeah it's not going to be easy for this person it's not going to be easy for you either I'm seeing um, you care about this person but prolonging things stringing things along or pretending everything is fine or whatever is even more unfair and I think you know that and I know that as an Aries I mean I know that I need to just speak out and say the truth if I don't want to be with someone I need to just tell them I don't want to kind of string people along I don't want to be cruel I don't want to be horrible to people but people need to be told and I think that's what you're realizing at this time they need to go on their own journey that's what I'm seeing and you knew that but um, I'm seeing that they'll probably call you a few times after this there's going to be um, yeah there'll be phones ringing text pinging things like that noises because there's a bell around this boy's neck and you know he's trying to call out he's trying to be heard so this person's going to try and reach out to you quite a few times by phone by text um, I know this is really sad um, but um, yeah this is what I'm seeing there's no point in staying around if um, you're only going to prolong the agony um, I know this is very sad especially for um, this other person um, and you know cross watchers I just have to say this this isn't necessarily about you um, so please don't be angry I just have to say that but yes this is what I'm seeing this is just what I'm seeing here so Scorpio um, I hope this resonated as you know general readings can't always resonate with everyone as you know this um, but again if you liked this reading please like please subscribe if you'd like to you don't have to of course leave a comment if you'd like to Thank you so much for watching.